Scotland, Scotland v England this weekend at BT Murrayfield. You know, you've got 30 caps now, but unbelievably you've never played against England, but you were quite close, <coughs> is that right? Yeah, no, I was meant to win my first cap against England, uh, God, years ago now, um, the first game of the Six Nations. And uh, unfortunately, I broke my thumb in the yeah the week leading up to that game, um, playing touch actually of all things. So, no, I was disappointed at the time, but um, it's in the past. I'm fairly looking forward to this weekend, and yeah, hopefully get a run. It's a big game. There's no doubt about that. It's Scotland versus England uh, in the Six Nations. What have you made of them so far in the, in the tournament? Uh, oh, they're a world class side. You know, they're yeah arguably the the form team in the world at the moment, and. Uh, yeah, they've probably not got going quite as well as they would have liked in the first two games, but they found a way to win, you know, and I think the second half against Italy, they showed their kind of attack and flair, and then against Wales, they just showed some grit, and, you know, they defended really, really well. So, oh, it'll be a massive challenge, but it's one that certainly everyone in, the, in this group's looking forward to. When you look at your position on the pitch and, and uh, you know, in the back line, what, what do you see, what do, what do they do well and what do you need to look out for? Uh, they've got some really good plays. Uh, set piece, they've got some really good plays. You know, they, um, Owen Farrell, he's a world class player. He will, you know, potentially be my opposite man, and that's something that I'm really excited about. You know, you want to challenge yourself against the best. So he's great at bringing defences onto him and then, you know, putting other guys through holes. So uh, I'll have to do a fair bit of analysis this week and make sure that, yeah, I'm in, uh, in a good place and defensively. But, yeah, fingers crossed we can get up and try and shut them down. You've got a few players uh, in the squad, Tim Visser now, Josh Strauss and Sean and a few others who play in the Aviva and play these guys week in, week out. Do you think that's an, uh, an advantage or do you think it's just level playing field, everything changes when it comes to international rugby? Uh, oh no, there's certainly you know little tells that you can try and pick up um, from you know, watching these guys, but also like you said, speaking to Sean, he's given us a little bit of insight about the sort of things that you know, and Farrell and Atoje and these guys like to do. So, uh, yeah, that, all these little things help. You know, you like to try and do as much prep as you can going into games so that there's less chance of being surprised. But a lot of the time as well, like you said, you know, they're fantastic players, so they're going to play what's in front of them. They're going to react to things. And, yeah, it's about making sure that you're, you're kind of ready for anything. And just for yourself, the way you've been playing in tournaments as well, you, you know, you, Scotland are disappointing in Wales, but um, the France game, which you were involved in, a great result. How much did you enjoy that win and how much are you enjoying just the, the camp and being around the boys? Yeah, no, it's been great. Like you said, Wales didn't go to plan, but last week against France was really, really encouraging. You know, we didn't play our absolute best, but, um, you know, we've done enough. We found a way to, to win, which was great. So uh, it's always special. You know, you never take it for granted getting a chance to play for your country, especially at home. And yeah, I'm just always grateful to pull on the jersey and, and you know, try my best to fill it. So, um, I'm f yeah, looking forward to this weekend, and like you said, it's been it's been awesome. You know, there's a good buzz about camp. It was the same in the autumn, and yeah, ultimately, it kind of it's a results-based game. So we're desperate to go out this weekend and get a really big win. To ensure a safe and enjoyable environment, BT Murrayfield has a small bags only policy, which means ticket holders for any event will only be allowed to bring in bags up to A5 size. The fastest way to get through the turnstiles is to simply leave your bags at home, at the hotel, or at a bag drop location in Edinburgh. If you do need to bring anything in with you, here's what you need to know. Anything you can fit in your pockets can stay in there. If you're bringing extra layers, simply wear them when you enter the stadium. A blanket can be worn over your shoulders and small cameras and binoculars can be carried but cannot be in a separate carry case. Everything else you need must fit in one small bag, no bigger than an A5 piece of paper. That's 21 by 14 by 8 centimetres. If you're in Highland Dress, your sporran can be used as your bag and bagpipes can be brought in with you. All approved bags will be searched before entry and anyone carrying anything bigger will not be able to enter. Exceptions will be made for medically necessary items after inspection and for items required for young children. However, all your other belongings must still fit within a small bag. This policy has been introduced to keep you and others around you safe. For more details, visit scottishrugby.org.